Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. According to NOAA's Global Monitoring Laboratory, CO2 levels around the world have increased by more than 100 parts per million over the past 60 years. Now, of course, there is fluctuation in there. Uh, like late last year, when the Mauna Loa volcano erupted, the Mauna Loa monitoring system was inundated to the point where they had to suspend monitoring on that island, move it to Mauna Kea about 30 miles away. But even with fluctuations like that, CO2 levels are on the rise and they're worth keeping an eye on. Now we know that the CO2 levels tend to increase in the winter and decrease in the summer, thanks to all the leaves on the trees converting CO2 into oxygen. But by how much? And what's the variance from day to night, say, in your home? Well, now there's a simple and incredibly accurate way to find all that out with one of two new SparkFun CO2, humidity, and temperature sensors with either the SCD40 or SCD41. Both of these boards utilize an SCD4X CO2 sensor from Sensirion. Now, these sensors use Sensirion's PA Sense technology to create a photoacoustic measurement system. They offer CO2 output range from 0 to 40,000 ppm. Now, the SCD40 will do that with a measurement accuracy of plus or minus 50 ppm in conditions from 400 to 2000 ppm, while the SCD41 has a measurement accuracy of plus or minus 40 ppm in conditions from 400 to 5000 ppm. Both sensors offer repeatability of plus or minus 10 ppm. Now, the sensors are also able to realize on-chip signal compensation with their CMOS Sense technology and built-in humidity and temperature sensors. The humidity sensor has an operating range of 0 to 100% RH with full range accuracy of plus or minus 9%, while the temperature sensor has a range of minus 10 to plus 60 degrees Celsius with full range accuracy of plus or minus 1.5 degrees. The boards have a supply voltage range from 2.4 to 5.5 volts with 3.3 volts typical and a low current consumption of typically 18 milliamps in normal mode, 3.5 milliamps in low power mode, and in single shot mode, which is only available on the SCD41, just 0.5 milliamps. The board comes in our standard 1x1 footprint with a pair of quick connectors and the I2C pins broken out for breadboarding. There are a lot of contributors to CO2 in the air. The transportation, industry, agriculture, even the human face. Here, I'll show you. Now this sensor will take readings and then return a result every five seconds. And that's why you didn't see this shoot up instantly. It may still be going up a little bit. I'm not sure, how did I do? Eh, not bad, not bad. Of course, if I held my breath longer, I would have created more CO2, converted more oxygen into CO2. This would have gotten up a bit higher. Probably wouldn't have made it to the top. That's reserved for more of the Marina Karankova types. Now, every person on the planet exhales about 500 liters of CO2 per day. You multiply that by about 8 million people, that seems like a lot of CO2. Now, really, in the grand scheme, when you compare it to all the other contributors, it's not that much. But since most of us spend most of our time indoors, it can really affect the air quality. In fact, an ideal use case for one of these sensors would be monitoring indoor air quality and immediately adjusting HVAC or ventilation systems to try and maintain CO2 levels optimally. Now, CO2 is a key indicator in indoor air quality. And in fact, too high a CO2 level can actually impede human cognitive ability and well-being. I've never said this before, but buying this board from us can literally make you smarter and healthier. My generation's definition of the word, literally. So clean up your act, or at least your air quality, with the new SparkFun CO2 humidity and temperature sensor with either the SCD40 or SCD41. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com, and you know, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Is that it? What do I say? With one of two new SparkFun CO2 humidity and temperature. Uh, CO2 humidity and temperature. CO2. Now, of course, there are variances in that. And I want to say fluctuation there. Now, of course, there are fluctuations. Almost there. Okay, this one's it.